trying not to have an orange screen welcome to episode 22 of unrolled it is youtube's worst cigar podcast trying not to have a black and white show yeah i'll take oh, it i'll that, put i'll make it black did. and white yeah so uh Shit's you know gone. we're still learning <clears throat> i guess i don't know 22 episodes in and failures and everything else we're still trying to figure this out but uh you know it's uh if nothing else this is an hour just to uh smoke a cigar unroll a cigar we're today we're going to unroll a aj fernandez last call it's also what i'm going to smoke it's one of my top fives you know i could have brought my bandages we could have unrolled my arm oh we should unroll your bandages on the show maybe we should unroll that uh coolant hose clamp right see what happens oh wait right. we know uh so my name is mike this is chuck next to me uh we don't have a guest today it's probably gonna be somewhat of a quick podcast because uh i'm in the home stretch of building completion yep and uh you're in the home stretch of growing that third arm right so uh chuck is dressed very nice today right. because uh i can't wear sleeves on sunday he uh <laughs> he he decided uh second degree burns would be uh, it's like the new body modification That's right so he's already has all the tattoos so he went ahead and said you know what let's uh let's try to get some cool burn scars but I don't think second degree. You got second degree mostly. Did you get any third degree? No, I got mostly first degree. Mostly. I got a little bit of second degree. Okay, so nothing third my, degree or my higher. My neck's first degree. My chin's first degree. Right. Most of my arm's first degree. Right. The only second degree is right here in this area. And that's where, like, the that's shot right. at Yeah, you. that's right where it hit. Yeah. And you were wearing a t-shirt at the time. Yeah. Yeah, so. it, went, it went right up the sleeve. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it went, yeah. It went right up the sleeve. Yeah. So that's terrible. that's first degree too. I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna have splotchy skin afterwards. I don't think the coloration is gonna go away. Oh, uh, it will. When I was a kid, I don't know how old I was, but when I was a kid, I got burnt. Um, so I was, I've never been super tall. Imagine that. So anyway. We were, I was helping my mom cook uh, dinner. It's probably tater tots. Actually, you drink. I know it was. Yeah, right. I know. Uh, I know it was tater tots because uh, I still have an issue with them. So, uh, you know, you pull them out of the grease. Fucking tater tots. Right. Uh, what do we make it? Five minutes. Sweet. Five so, minutes. No, it's not actually because four of those minutes were fixing the camera. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm taking out the tater tots. I put them on a paper plate. I go put the oil back on. Uh, the oil in the pan back on the stove. Oh. And I hit the edge of the oh, stove. Oh, no. And it just splashed up on my arm. You right. know, not the worst thing in the world. But being a stupid kid, I threw it in my face. <laughs> so I had uh, uh, hot cooking oil in my eyes, um, on my face. So those green bubbles that you had of blisters, yeah, uh, I yeah. had I had that literally all oh. over uh, my face. I just uh, want to pop them. Yeah, I, that's well, my problem. So they had me uh, since it burnt my eyes, my eyeballs. Um, they had I got I couldn't I was blinded for a while, so that was pretty neat. Yeah, we good. I don't know what it's doing. I didn't notice them last before. Uh, so yeah, I just I just want to pop them. I don't. They're gonna pop anyway. I don't understand why I can't pop them. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's like an infection issue. Like if you pop them, can you do you open it up? Because it's such raw skin well that's what i was wondering i was actually going to google that i was wondering if uh is a burn an open wound is it considered an open wound because nothing's open well nothing's open but your skin's gone so is it's it not gone it's just burnt well i mean you posted a picture where your skin was literally peeled away so oh that's just a couple of spots right but still that's gone skin so that's an open wound yeah but those are just little spots yeah they're not big spots look kind of big in the picture that's from me ripping my shirt off it like i was flash gordon <laughs> yeah. I was getting paid for it ah uh, that uh that is terrible so absolutely terrible to uh go to go to the hospital go to the er on a sunday on any day but actually wasn't that bad that nurse lady looked one took one look at my arm and went oh you gotta go right back and i went right back and i was done in no time nice so. yeah it's all about timing i know whenever um I uh, painted my face with the cooking oil. Um, my mom's first reaction was to turn on the cold water and shove my face under it. You're not so, supposed to do that. So at a young age, I was waterboarded because <laughs> I couldn't breathe underwater either. Right. This is the thing she didn't know about me. 
And so she's just holding my face under cold water. So I didn't get skin grafts on my face. Um, my beard doesn't grow in quite nice. That could be genetics or it could be from the burn. Um, but in the cold, you'll see us like a, I don't know if you will, cause you got a lot of ink, but you, I notice a skin difference in color whenever like, you know, when it gets cold and your face turns red, right. mine turns red in, in blotchy ways. So yeah, no, uh, mom's been burnt. She fell into a campfire. So she sizzled her arm at the camp, at the campground. Uh, so I showed her pictures that you posted and she's, she, <laughs> she had flashbacks too. So <laughs> We all got a little PTSD from the uh, from burns. So, is that your first time getting burnt like that? Like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we've all like caught our finger. In well, a I've had I've cap. had plenty of first degree burns, right? But I've never had anything like this. Yeah, anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Nasty. Yeah, gross looking. It is. That's that's the worst part is how gross it is, and then it's like it's hard to get his shirt on. Um, I I got out of school for a couple of weeks because a I couldn't see, and then. Uh, B, it was all over your face. B, it was on my face. And then, so when they finally took the the eye bandages off, and I sat in the car, and mom had to go get more. Uh, oh, instant headache? No, not not necessarily. I, uh, I, I looked in the mirror, <laughs> and I saw what looked like a Batman villain <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> I was like, oh, jeez. I was like, put that huh? shit back on. That's I don't want to see your choice. <laughs> all right. It's like, this is how the Joker started. <clears throat> well, when I when I got metal in my eye that one time, they had a, I had to wear an iPad bandage because I screwed my eye all up with it. Uh, I kept rubbing it in. My yeah, eye, my eye just itched. I didn't know I had something in it, so I just kept rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. And uh, it's just in there carving up. Yep. Yeah. So I had stuff. to wear a bandage for three days, and when I took that bandage off, just that light hitting it, that light hitting yeah, that eye, give you a headache, instant headache. Yeah, I kept my eyes kind of closed, like, and they told me to, you know, they said, hey, you know, light's going to be bright. You know, I was trying to open them anyway, because I was scared I was going to be blind forever, man. That's a, that's a, you know, I want to say I was probably 10 years old. Right. So, you know, I really thought I was never going to see again. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know, kind of, kind of fortunate. The eyes actually heal, heal rather well. Well, and I was a young man, so everything healed pretty well. You do a pretty good job. So. You know, your body's still, you know, you got a ton of growth hormone back then. Right. Yeah, you know, so your your body can fight a ton of stuff when it's younger. <clears throat> you know, like that, that I, I would probably, I probably healed faster than what that did just because I was 10 years old versus, you know, I being 40 I something. I don't think it'll take long. I mean, how long do you think the blisters last? Three, four days? Yeah, and then, then like, you know the the discoloration will probably be a couple of weeks. Yeah. So nobody cares about that. No. <laughs> no, not at all. I just need to not be able to be forced to keep it clean. I like how you put that bandage on your bicep to make it look bigger. That's good. <laughs> I'm forced to keep it clean, which means I can't hardly do anything. Yeah. You should have been in that attic with me. That was a good time. That was last night's adventure. <clears throat> it's only three wires. So it was, it was, uh, well, it's like, I think it's like four wires, but times two, 220 volt. Listen. Watt, whatever. Listen. Then I have to disassemble it. This is proof that the truck runs long enough to boil water. Well, you know what? Who's, uh, so. It's, long. <clears throat> it's at my house, by the way. It's at your house? Yep. You drove it home? Yep. How'd it run? Great. You mean, great. you mean great or? No, great. Great. It doesn't shift because the transmission's not plugged in. Okay. I have to get it on the lift to okay. plug the transmission and all that shit in. But runs great. Runs. I could run better, but it runs. I had no issues, no well, good, stumbles, no nothing. Good job to you, man. No bought, nothing. bought a tuning program, figured it out, and made the car work. You know, that's harder than the actual physical motor swap. So, Especially with that confusing-ass program, man. Tinder Studios, I was, who I was telling, was I telling you? Yeah, yeah. It was. Tinder Studios got a menu. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do um, like speed to, density? Do you like, want to do yeah. MAF? Do you want to do? Do you want to do? What do you want to turn on and what do you want to turn off? Right. And so it's it's all right there in a general setup menu for your engine and the computer. So you just go, I want this, this, this. You just go through and you select. Right. This, it's all graphs and numbers and bars, and you got to make this fail, and then you got to do this when this fails, so it does this when this fails. It's so. Do you think the tuning went better because those two sensors were in, or do you think that no? I didn't, I didn't know tuning, I just deleted vats. Oh, okay. All I've done so far is delete the vats. 
and it runs. I haven't. Uh, and that's on the old computer. Yep, that's on the one that I thought was bad. Okay. So I haven't. Uh, I haven't changed the gear ratio in it yet. I still have to go in and change the gear ratio. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the math fail or not. I was I was watching YouTube videos on how to do it, but I math sensors are only like uh, fifty bucks. Right. So between that and the uh, and the uh, boots, I'll have another hundred dollars in it and have and just put the math on it and be done. Right. So you, the math's already in it. You just have to tell the computer it's in it, right? Yeah, I just have to tell the computer because the sensor's there. actually in there. It's in the cold air intake. No, I don't have a sensor. What's that's, uh, that's what, the uh, IAT intake air temperature. Oh, uh, okay. I thought that was your math sensor. Mm-mm. So on LS, does it run at the? Th- you gonna run a math sensor? LS LS runs both. It runs I, map and I maps. Think, I think that seems think. that seems well. The math sensor on an LS has an intake air temperature sensor built into the math sensor. It's, it actually has two mm. built into the math sensor. So it does it does kind of a a both kind of a thing. I think. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't tuned in a while, so. Oh, I can't find like I can't find the actual VE table where you adjust the, in that program. I can't find the VE table where you adjust the VE table, and then it doesn't like on Tuner Studio again when the car's running and you find the V and you it says VE table and you click on the VE table and it shows you where it's at. You know what I mean? It's got a little dot that mm-hmm. shows you where it's running at, and then you look look at your AFR, and you pull your little gauge up on the side and you look at your AFR. And if your AFR is rich, you take them numbers down. If it's this right. is not anything like that at all, at all. I wonder why that's such the like go to program for those. Uh, because it can work those computers. Is Tenor that why? Studio can't see those computers. They don't play. It doesn't play well with those computers. Gotcha. So that program specifically. Well, there's a couple others out there that they play well with that computer. So. Nice. So, do you want? Have you one wheeled since you burnt your arm? I haven't, uh, because I have to wear shirts with no sleeves, and it's too cold for me outside. Yeah, it is too cold. I rode home. I rode home on that Friday. It was nice, but it was windy. I rode home on that day uh, from downtown Alton to uh, to Godfrey. So that was a good little ride. I rode up here Sunday. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then got a ride. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ride the skateboard or the the one wheel? The XR. Wheel? Nice. I'll probably go tomorrow. I'll probably ride up. Ride up. I'm planning on taking it home with me. Gotcha. So I can ride it up tomorrow, if it's not too bad. I don't know what's supposed to. Sleepless. I thought it's tomorrow Wednesday. Yeah, seventy something. I think. Is it really? I think. Yeah. Emily's down painting at the building, and then um, there's a lady coming in at ten. She was cleaning some of the building. Seventy two. Seventy two. That's too cold. And sunny. Sunny makes it nicer. Right. So we got the hot room all done down there. Uh, there's a room dedicated to hot yoga, and um, not done. Like I saw, to trim paint and uh, put some ca- uh, cove base up. But they got the heaters going. Josh was down there with me. He's, oh yeah. Yeah, he stopped in, and actually, <clears throat> he was kind of helpful because I had to crawl. So I had to cut a hole in some drywall that nobody can see. So like we framed in a ceiling. And then right. I went above the ceiling, and then to go into the other ceiling. Right. So I had to cut out a piece of drywall of an existing wall that was there when we bought the building. <clears throat> and uh, all I had on me was my um, jigsaw. So jigsaw's got a guard. So I couldn't cut a full 16. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I, I squeezed through uh, probably probably 14 to 13 to 14 inches where the space and then as soon as you go in so i'm already cramped <clears throat> and i gotta climb through this hole and then there's a duct that runs right. right a flex duct that runs there so it's flex so i can move it around a little bit but it's ran pretty tight and uh and then i have to find the studs in that ceiling under 12 plus inches of spray and insulation and uh what an effing nightmare so josh went and got me a board so i had like a six inch board to kind of you know, move around and sit right. on and stuff like that. So I find this first unit. So all, all these units are wired up top, and these units are smart switches. Right. And they turn on the heaters. So I'm sitting below them in the room 
trying to get them to connect to wirelessly. Power's on. I'm good. But they're not connecting. They connect to the heaters wirelessly? Uh, they connect to your phone wirelessly so you can turn the heaters on. There's no manual switch to turn oh. these heaters on. Because why would we run a... So I know why, but... So that way... <clears throat> so, why? So if the hot class is at 6 o'clock... It takes some time to get up to 115 degrees. Mm-hmm. So you can turn all this stuff on at Before 5, you go down 530. Right. Yeah, digitally. So Echo right. B and these things, right? You're turning, cranking everything up. So I, I, I get it. So, but I mounted them in the ceiling. Actually, Billy did. Billy mounted them in the ceiling. And he mounted them really well. Like, both screws. Billy does a good job. Billy does a Billy great job. Billy is an excellent... Yeah. excellent craftsman yeah no so, billy billy seems like a real jack of all trades and he's a really nice guy too super nice guy yeah he's a really nice guy i like Do, billy and he doesn't limp or anything <laughs> so, so anyway job would have been done four months or no, <laughs> no wait, wait. he was giving me well, I shit saw. yesterday and i was like oh yeah buddy i saw so so i had to climb up there go hunt down where billy put these Find them, so I find the first one. There's, <coughs> there's three in there because right. you, you run two heaters per one switch. Right. So I find the first one. So my goal right now is to, and, and so I'm not working with a lot of space, probably a couple feet, right, Um, in, in, in this attic. So I find the first one, and then I need the screw gun. Well, wait, well, wait a minute. Shouldn't your mom have, shouldn't it have been with your mom's phone? It should have been. That, let's you know we're, that that's all fine this is first time turning on I, i'm trying to make sure they work before you know i'm just got to okay. make sure shit works right right so you get to crawl up there with your mom's phone later and, and hook them back well sort of so so anyway I, so i have the program i have done all the updates uh that was all an a- extra hour just to get all the easy stuff done right all the tech stuff done so i get it all done and uh so i'm up there and Billy has mounted these properly, so now I need a screwdriver. So I crawl back to the small hole. Josh brings up the uh, brings up the ladder. He brings up the um, drill for me. I unscrew this thing. Billy taped it to make sure nothing gets into this switch box. Great job. So I look at the bottom. Now I know what model it is. So now I can try to sync up. Right. Still nothing. And I'm like, what the hell? So I have Josh go flip all the breakers <clears throat> one more time. Turn all the breakers off. So I left one off. Um, there's because we we have wiring for seven breakers for seven. So two, 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 one. Right. Right. And that's how the breakers are ran. Fifty amp breakers. So two, 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 one. <clears throat> so I tell Josh to flip all the breakers off. Turn them back on. Still nothing. And then I don't know what 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 this thing's supposed to do when it is working. I have no idea. So I have Josh turn on this the last switch. So he's running up and down the ladder and running back and forth to the fuse panel. And so he flips this this last switch, and I'm sitting up there, and this thing starts flashing this red light, and kind of has a little hum to it. And and it and it kind of does a little beeping sound, but it's real faint, right? Right. So now I working. now I have a power to it. I'm like, right. okay. So my bad, I didn't flip the right breaker. So I'm sitting up there trying to sync wirelessly, as as I was told it would do, and uh, that's wrong. So I have to get out the YouTube's and I see that there's a button inside of this machine. So now I have to unscrew the cover of this, untape it, unscrew it with my screw gun with 220, run into it. Don't touch nothing, right? What a pain in the ass. To push a button. Why didn't they put the button on the outside of this right. thing? I don't know. But you have to take the cover off with a screw to get the to the, press this button. And then you got to press it so much to where it'll kind of pair, like it'll hop on the Wi-Fi or whatever. Right. So, and it's just one red indicator. That's it. That's, that's it's just how many beeps is what it's telling you it's doing. What a nightmare. So I get it done. And then, so Josh goes, and I turn it on. At least I think I do. So now I'm sitting in this attic with all this insulation, coughing, because this insulation, like, gets it gets to my, I don't know why I cough when I'm around it. <clears throat> it's probably still in my lungs now. <laughs> but, um, so uh, I get in. Uh, so Josh Josh is going there. And so these are mounted, like, uh, in the corner, like, off the ceiling, pointed down to the people, right? Right. Which I'm above it. The heaters are? Yeah, the heaters are. They're infrared. Okay. 
So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, so now they were like base heaters on the wall. No, they're they're some special infrared heaters that shoot down. Well, okay. right. So like a dry sauna. Fancy. Right, like a dry sauna. So uh, St. Louis's premier yoga studio, River Bend Yoga. Anyway, we. Um, so now I know that there is this thing that we don't know if it works or if it's wired in correctly. Uh, heating up underneath of me while I'm stuck in this attic with a 12 inch bro the nerves are running high because I'm like I will kick this drywall through if there's a fire and I will exit this right. you know so they were I will walk out in the middle of third street and watch dude I was I was trying to get I was like I needed an escape route is what I needed man and there just wasn't because I sealed that room off except for this 12 to 13 inch opening that i made that's right. way over here now right <laughs> so i'm like i'm just kicking right through i'm going right through this i can drop through these 16 inches easier than i can climb through at 13 yeah. if there's a fire and so uh so then i had to go hunt down the other two of course the last one um billy i guess wanted it out of the way so it's on the back side of this uh spiral duck that's probably uh, 14, 16 inches where it's at. Well, he probably didn't figure you ever had to mess with them again. Yeah, no, and I didn't either. I told him just right. put them up there, right? Right. So now I have to unscrew two screws to get this thing off the off the board, and then I have to turn it and then unscrew the cap to press the button. But I got all mall to work. We got up to about 91 degrees temperature and probably 100 on the skin in right about 30 minutes. And then what was cool is I turned everything off. I kept the door shut. Um, I go back in there almost an hour later. It's still 77 degrees. I even Damn. had the furnace off. So the insulation, so nice, right? the insulation nice. works really well. Uh, that room's going to hold heat. for. So if there's like a class and another class, that furnace and heaters don't have to work so hard to get back up to flat, you know, up to temperature. I want to go in there right now. Uh, I'm going to tell you. So Josh and I were sitting in there when it was starting to heat up. We got them all going. Uh, I climbed out of there. Uh it like the opening was so small when I climbed out, my shirt was almost off. Like I, it was that that small of an opening. Josh said it looked like I was being burned. And uh, so we get down and we go in there and and I turn the heater on. I just crank, cranked up to eighty five, and it was probably a degree every forty five seconds. It was going up. Nice. It was really nice. cool. And then all of a sudden, like my neck popped and my back popped. I'm like man, it it felt great. So really neat. Uh, cool technology, like I expect it to be so that thermostat only goes to 90, but the Echo Bees can go up to like 115 or whatever. So, right, she's you know, once we change that out, then it's good to go. But, yeah, what a nightmare! So, and the cove bait, cove, cove base came off the wall because it's that one didn't even have 15 degrees cove base yet. So, I figured that was the good time to test it before you know, because you don't want to do that the same day you're. No. Glue and cove on. No. Well, you're so, using liquid nail, right? I'm using some cove glue. It's actually stuck really well. <clears throat> I built a speaker, speaker box one time and uh, liquid nailed all the inside of it. Did it right. Liquid nailed all the inside of it and everything. Put the speaker in. Leave a screwdriver in it? And, uh, nope. Okay. Uh, put the speaker in, hooked it right up. Oh, oh. Right stand, away. Stand right away. <laughs> sitting in front of it. I was sitting in front of it. Uh, Moving it around with it on, and it blew up. Yeah, yeah. And it blew in a dust cone. I had a scar from the dust cone for a long time. It's no, gone it now, but I had a scar from the dust cone hitting me in the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it's not instant. That glue. No, no, no. no. There's a lot of fumes, flammable fumes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. And it didn't have no place to escape. So when it exploded, it escaped through the uh, dust cone. Ah, the speaker still worked. <laughs> Really? Just blew the dust cone off? Yep, blew the dust cone off. That speaker still worked. Nice. It didn't sound very good, but it still worked. It, like, didn't blow the, uh, whatever they call the surround or nothing off. That little rubber? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, so we're close. Uh, it's, I think it's literally clean up, paint, trim. I'm giving Ronnie some, uh, some lumber, some extra lumber, because I'm not returning that to <laughs> St. Louis, because I got it all from St. Louis. What, uh, what do you got left? Um, we might need that up here. I just, uh, I have like five sheets of four by eight. I have no drywall left. Five sheets of four by eight, what? Plywood? Yeah. Probably quarter, half, maybe. So, I guess. But, Emily. What, what's up with the roof? 
Um, so I asked for a couple bids. A couple people came out. We got one bid. And then um, I submitted that bid to Aspen. And he, because he wanted two bids, you know. Right. And uh, so John submitted a bid. I sent it to Aspen. Aspen signed it. And I sent it to John, and they're going to send me an email whenever they get me on the schedule. And then Aspen called me. Aspen has been fantastic. They called me uh, yesterday. He goes, hey, well, on Well, Monday. it's on video. They can't really deny well, it. Well, no, but, I mean, it's, you know, the service after, too. But he, so he called me, and he, he says, hey, I'm just checking with you. He goes, did you get a second bid? I said, no. And uh, he goes, let's just go ahead and rock this first one since everybody's so damn busy they can't take on more work. Right. So. He goes and I like. He goes, I like John. John does good work. He goes, they're dependable, reliable, they're fast. And I said, okay. So it was eight thousand dollars. Now, no, I'll ask this when we're done. Never mind. <laughs> um, you think anybody watches this? Um. Uh, well, you never know. So. Uh, I thought uh, we were going to have a, somebody on today. I thought Leo was... Oh, I got a, Leo I hit, got a message I seen from him this morning. Leo hit me up, and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get this building done. I knew we were going to do a fast cast. Right. And uh, so he's going to come on next week. Okay. So for sure next week. And then, what's that? That'll be the third. It's next Tuesday, the third. I don't know. I laid in bed till 10 o'clock because I was like, we'll just do a fast one because I'm not, I'm comfortable. My arm is comfortable. Like, it's not, it's not hurt at all. It's been uncomfortable, but it has not hurt, not once. I don't know when, what time my closing is on Tuesday. Tuesday, what closing? On uh, Adams Court. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what time it is. It's probably like one in the afternoon or two in the afternoon. Well, they probably haven't scheduled it yet. So, uh, it's probably is scheduled. I just don't know what time. So, um, but yeah, that, that's supposed to happen. And then the fourth, the next day is my mom's birthday. <clears throat> On May the 4th? May the 4th. Mm. May the 4th be with her. Wow. Always. And Nerd. also with you. And also with you. Nerd. Tell you my dog's treats in the morning. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, body of Christ. <laughs> And then we do the peace thing. I start saying peace a bunch, and they all sit down, and they put their paws up. They I usually, they I usually throw a lump of dog shit at my dog in the morning. What do you? Well, he keeps shitting in the house. Ah, nice. Is that the new little one? Yeah. He ain't little. Oh, I think he's about six months old, but he ain't, there ain't nothing. He's as big as Blue is. Gee whiz. He's not as filled out as Blue right, is, right. you know, because yeah, Blue's scrawny. old, but he's as big as Blue is. <coughs> but I don't know where, uh, so I feed him when I get home normally, I feed him. And they're outside, and they're in the fence outside. Right. I feel them when I get home, so that's, and I don't let them in until i ready to go to sleep. So that's 11, 12 o'clock at night. So that's that's six hours that they're out there. And somehow he finds, I've made sure there's no food and water. He can't <laughs> access neither one at night. Somehow I think he's saving it. So since you're going to save it, you're going to get pelted in the head with it every morning. Do you think he learns from that? I don't know. I just throw it at him and tell him, quit shitting in the house. Does he uh, speak English? Well, he walks over and sniffs it afterwards and then looks at me like, whoa. He probably thinks you pooped in the house, which makes it a okay. Right. I'm not, my name's not Amber Heard. Yeah, <laughs> topical. Amber um, turd. So, yeah, he probably thinks that's you pooping, throwing it around. So it's like, he wants to be like you. Topical. 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 Speaking of topical, mm-hmm. Twitter is going to become a complete and total. Do you think it's going to go that way? I mean, it will for a little bit. <clears throat> it's going to be just hate speech Arama. All rules off. You think that's I doubt I doubt it'll go that far, but it's it's going to be like I have a Twitter account, but I don't use Twitter. Right, just read. Like every once no, I don't I don't even look. Every once in a while the notifications will come to my actual inbox instead of the spam. <clears throat> and I'll click on them there. Yeah, we've seen that one. Right. right. <laughs> and I'll click on them there, and uh, and I'll go tell whatever politician it is that they're stupid, and uh, or you know I'll go say, well, why don't you do this, or why don't you? Because you don't want to. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, hey, there's a there's a guy for sheriff running. We'll get him on the podcast. Oh yeah, Mass County Sheriff's. All right. His name's John. Tell him that there's thousands. Of and thousands of Madison County viewers. 
watch this. Thousands and thousands of Madison County viewers. If you want votes in Madison County. Then we'll talk to them about closing the street up here for our street fest. If you want votes for Maryland Drive. Better allow burnouts. Right. Right. Close off Karen Wood. I'm not uh, so upset with the sheriff we got. So I called him and raised hell about that girl, and he did something. Better so than the last sheriff we had. He actually did something. Like that day, I got a call and said, we're going to look into it. And then the next day, I got a call from an actual detective that said, yeah, she's a problem. And we, we agree with you. She's going to escalate. She's been escalating. She's right. going, somebody's going to the get fact, hurt, hurt. Somewhere. The fact that she bought some ancient tracker to put on your daughter's car. And she bought the ancient tracker. She paid a cell phone service for the tracker. Right, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Like air, air tags are so much cheaper, <laughs> and and yeah, but you can't actually see where the air tag is. I know you can only find the air tag when you're close to it. Oh, I didn't know that. So this was like a real OG tracker. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy that she went through all that. And not only that, she put it back on the car after. Yeah, because she all the interactions, yeah, the police she, and everything. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Because it was found. She put it back on the car. Right. That's so crazy. So. She's out in the street, so. Got to have a good prosecuting attorney. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. I don't know. I haven't heard anything from it. And I told that uh, detective when he was taking a tracker, I said, listen, if she doesn't stop, then I'll sit in jail for it. Right. Because, and she'll sit in the hospital. Right. I'll teach her the damn lesson. I don't give a shit. Maybe. And he goes, he said something like, well, she's just a little little skinny girl. And I go, I don't care. <clears throat> I don't give a shit. She don't mean nothing to me. New phrase up here. <laughs> you're not a lady unless you're 280. <laughs> I heard that yesterday. <laughs> so uh, for you t-shirt makers that are watching, uh, you're not a lady unless you're 280. Well, we got to get uh, we gotta get Mark on sometime in uh, March. Mark uh, McMurray? McMurray, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to buy him a present. Yeah. And I want to give it to him. Oh. Okay. On the podcast. I'm going to buy him a, buy something I think he'll enjoy. From the Letterkenny fan club? No. Oh. No. Okay. No, I've seen, I seen this other thing I think he'll enjoy. <laughs> I think he'll like it. <clears throat> I think he'll wear it proud. So I was, uh, I better say dick skin on it. Right. Doesn't wear anything. Right. <laughs> doesn't wear anything unless it's got dick skin on it. This is my paint and flannel. I don't, I don't paint my dick skins. Seventy five dollars. Oh, oh, it's no. not a seventy five dollar dick skin plan. No, I don't have any dick, <laughs> dick skin on today. Actually, I have no clean shoes left in my name. Right, <laughs> I have that problem. Yeah, there too. There's just my whole wardrobe is just covered in shit. Yep, my pet. I have that problem. I don't right. have any nice clothes either. Yeah, so, I. It's, it's like well, a, I do. My Hawaiian shirts are nice because I don't wear them. Right, but, right. Yeah, it's on. It's almost time. Like, I look at them a lot. Right. They're hanging up, ready to go. That's why I uh, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to put a T-shirt on. And I was like, well, I'll just cut the sleeves off a couple. Of them. Right. <laughs> pick some pick some that aren't so nice anymore and right. cut the sleeves off of them. And I only have to wear them for a week, so. I went to breakfast this morning. Excuse me. I went to breakfast this morning at uh, Mike Baker's house. Oh, yeah? Yep. And biscuits and gravy, bacon, eggs, potatoes. It's pretty good. Um, had a discussion with uh, with the boxes yeah. the other day. Yeah. About potatoes. What about potatoes? Guess what we're gonna get back? Oh, uh, baked potatoes. Loaded potatoes. Loaded. Loaded. Philly, Philly cheese potatoes. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're running out of room down there already. Yep. Well, I called him and I. It, they had Philly sandwiches. Friday, I think it was, right. actually. And I called down there, and I go, uh, no, it was Saturday, because he brought me a cold piece of pizza. Huh, that's good. And, uh, you know, that dude's got, that pizza tastes good, yeah. but it's just kind of weird to me, because yeah. it's, it's like, the dough's, like, five inches thick, for one. All right. So that's kind of strange. <laughs> I yeah. like pan pizza. And then it's just sauce and, like, little spatterings of cheese. Yeah. No, it's I'm with weird. you. I'm with you. It's it tastes good. It's got a good flavor. He's got good sauce. It tastes uh, really good. But the, the dough, uh, the dough is pretty good uh, when it's fresh. Like when you get it right out of the oven, it's pretty. Uh, it wasn't bad that next day. Yeah. Microwaved. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. I've air fried them. It's really good in the air fryer. 
kind of crisp up again. So yeah, it's it's good. It's it's like um, chewy and, and crispy when it's fresh. Yeah, it's it's good, but it's just it's, it's too much dough when weird. it's cold. I've had it cold. It's so <clears throat> weird. We're talking about uh, Louis Pizza. It's a really cool underground illegal pizzeria <laughs> that uh, pops up places, so that way you can't be caught. So he's doing good. Getting irritated? Nah, it's just. I can feel it getting tight. Oh, yeah. Skin's trying to. Yeah. Yep. I've been keeping that uh, silver, silver sitting, silver sitting. I think that's what it is. That cream? Yeah, I've been keeping that on it real sick. Turns your skin gray. That's cool. <laughs> so Matches my hair. Turns your skin gray. <clears throat> no, this is a dark brownish gray. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yep. So this week's my going to be my final week. I got a couple boxes of cigars I got to deliver, I guess, tonight over to Ferguson. Well, it's your final week for that, and then then uh, we get to move humidors. Yeah, so Thursday, so. Thursday, I got to knock out the punch list for both buildings, and I'm going to have them inspect both and give me both permits. And then, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. Uh, well, the other one's already been approved, I thought. No, I got to I gotta remove a threshold, put a fire extinguisher up. <laughs> And uh, put an exit sign on it over a door. So, not the worst thing in the world. Why does it need an exit sign if it's the only door? Dude, there's, it's, it's whatever. Clearly, that's the door I have to go out if I want to exit. Well, there's two doors in this building. Isn't it so nice to be in Madison County? It's two doors in this building. Madison County says, oh, yeah, you got lights in the door. You're good. So, <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. Yeah, one time they, uh, I was remodeling when I was building the pawn shop, and the fire department stopped by, and they're like, you're remodeling? I had a 40-yard dumpster outside. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, well, we're going to need the floor plan in case there's a fire. So I just took a piece of paper out real quick, <laughs> and I drew a rectangle, <laughs> and I put the door in the front. I go, you can't figure it out? Here you go. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, fair enough. And then I was, when I was pitching a roof up there. He goes, hey, are you building yeah, up there? And I, I go, that. I go, yeah, yeah, sure am. Uh, building the loft. I'm gonna move in. He goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and then they drove off. So right. un- unincorporated is fantastic. Right. Dealing, dealing with cities is a little bit different, but you know, I mean, after I, I tell you, after this building, like after just literally being punched. You know, I thought yesterday I wasn't gonna spend any money, but I had to go buy an internet switch. And now you gotta buy exit signs. And then I had to buy a uh, 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 power strip because I wasn't driving all the way up here for one. So I just bought a power strip. And, uh, so yeah, so I buy all this and, uh, you know, here's 60, $70, you know, it just, it, it's every day. Right. I just want that day where yeah. I don't spend money yeah. on it. I know how that feels. Every day. So don't. I know how that feels. Ah, oh, engines in the truck. You yeah. need, you need 200 more dollars for something that doesn't work. I'm a little salty about that, by the way. Um, I'm actually a whole lot of salty about it. And the only reason I haven't been in somebody's parking lot asking for my money back is because of the associations. Well, you know, I mean, so, you still can. I don't care. No, I won't. I won't. Don't bother me, no. I won't, but. You know, it just doesn't seem. Did he mess with the old computer or only the new one? The new one. Didn't so, touch the other one. So what I did was I said, I was sitting out there and it wouldn't run right and I couldn't. F- I was trying to figure out HP tuners, and I ran that log, and I couldn't see nothing in the log that was making it because I know how to read the log from the tuner studio. It's the same log's basically the same. Right. And the only thing I could see was an O2 sensor was reading wonky, and but that wouldn't cause that. Right. So so I thought, you know, I'm gonna go grab that other computer, and I'm gonna see if this reads the other computer because my scanner wouldn't read the other computer, but I don't think I had it plugged all the way in maybe gotcha so i went and got the other computer and this time i made sure it was plugged all the way in the bolts were tight and everything and uh and hp tuners read it so i said if i gotta do it myself i'm gonna do it to this one right so i assigned the credits to it right and uh which made me really nervous right but i assigned the credits to it i'm like hundred dollars like hundred dollars there goes a hundred bucks right but uh i assigned the credits to it and then i got in it deleted the vats and uh and by that time my battery was completely dead because the fuel pump was running the whole time nice so well you gotta have the ignition on for the whole thing and i just i forgot to get out and take it out so and then jump box was dead <clears throat> jump box was dead sure so i plugged everything in went home come back the next day plugged it all in turned the key and that's crazy. So I wonder Ran if that, and I, great. I wonder if that computer, the second computer, was 
something was bad with that. I don't know. Because if it didn't read and it read the fir- the OG computer, then that means there's something up with that <clears throat> computer. No, it, well, it read the second computer. Oh, it did? Yeah, it read the second computer fine, but the but second computer just wasn't running right. Something was wrong, and, and, and nobody could fix it. Mm. So I don't know if that's so much somebody. Shop. Somebody could fix it. Somebody with probably a, a bunch more knowledge on it. Right. On, on well, uh, don't advertise a price in in a service if you don't know what you're doing. But you got a free house call. <clears throat> so you got a free house call. And I appreciate that. That's not. That's nice. It's the only person that showed up. <clears throat> right. So there's that. I appreciate that. It's just I, I'm <clears throat> where I'm at on it is I'm three hundred twenty dollars out. Right. To them, for nothing. I got nothing. Sure. I got absolutely nothing. And the first $120 was for them to throw parts at it. Well, the $600. I could have threw parts at it. You bought the LS that you had to get a new intake for. So, I mean, right. it's kind of the theme with the truck. Right. Right. Just buy I've your... been calling it the Cranford Curse. Yeah, so. it is. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this... Go get specialized tags for that. It's Jeff's truck. Right. Cranford Curse. But it runs, so that's pretty amazing. You said it didn't shift. Runs, drives. Well, the transmission's not plugged in. So what, did it, does it get out of first? How's it? How's it know when it to starts shift? in second? Okay. It doesn't know that it's supposed to be all the way down. I didn't try manual shifting. It probably manual shift. Well, yeah, probably will. But uh, it starts down low and se- it starts down in second. I don't think it got out of second, but I didn't. Yeah. I stabbed it going down central, and it it didn't take off because it's not down. It doesn't know it's supposed to downshift. Right. So it didn't take off like that, but but it didn't hesitate. It it accelerated, no problem. It didn't pop back on me. It didn't hesitate. It actually sounds good. Nice. They did a real nice job down the road on the exhaust. Nice. So which they should have because it cost a bunch of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so your three wires are connected. Look at that. Yeah. Now it's just a little piddly shit. Tighten yeah, it up. Yeah, John. Tighten it up and then it's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a bunch of bunch of little, and, uh, and we didn't have to pull the bed off for a second time. So I got to cool. figure out. Uh, well, that still might need to happen. I don't know if I believe my fuel pressure test or not, but we'll see. We'll see how the plugs turn out. Right. So, because yeah. I'm I'm still old school plug reader. So. Well, no, that's I mean that's your that's your the best way to tell if your air fuel is really bad. Well, I've got that computer that should tell me AFR, but I can't find it on there to save my life. No so. kidding. I can't find an AFR reading anywhere. Ah, that's so. crazy. I'm sure the YouTubes know. And I, like I said, I got that wonky O2, so it's probably wouldn't read my AFR right anyway. Got it. So, uh, yeah, it, it runs. It it's it's close. It's getting better. Did I? It's getting closer. Did I talk about the Table Thirty Six event lit? Nope. Last time. I don't know. No, nope. we had John on. Nope. Yeah, no, that was a great event. It was like uh, second or third highest uh, box sales for that store at, for any event yeah. since 2018. So that was really good. And I, now we're out. Uh, we're pretty darn close. Yeah, we're we're, so just waiting on a new one. Waiting on the re-up. But buying cigars is a lot like selling dope. You know, <laughs> you just you drop a bunch and, of money to get all the shit in. Get all the shit in. It goes well. Everybody likes it. Then it dries up, and you got to wait for the re-up. It's like when you first start out. Yep. Oh, exactly. I remember that. And that's what we're doing. We're just starting out. I remember that. Come support two old D-boys and buy cigars. <laughs> Try, trying to stay right in this life. Uh, well, that should be, what, 30 days, right? That should be because I, was, I, was, I calculated it the other day. I just really wish I would have had the money 60 days ago to order another, to order a mini truck. To order a mini truck? From Japan. We, uh, could, we could race again. I won last time. Well, I know you did. <laughs> Takes less time to import a van from Japan than it does to get cigars. Right. Uh, let's see. It's in my email. That thing's dirty as can be your, out there, your van. by the way. Nasty, just Dude. nasty. Mine's got fast food wrappers in it. I don't even like fast food, but that's the only thing that's open when I'm right. hungry. So, uh, I won't eat it. I refuse to eat it. 
Especially right now when I need my immune system to work. Fast food. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. But I'm going to go next door today. Are so, you? Yeah. Uh, what else am I going to eat? That'll build it up. Emily offered to work, too, if you need a day off. What else am I going to eat? So... I said he's fine. No, I, I mean, what am, am I gonna? I'm gonna sit at home. So I went home yesterday because I couldn't keep the bandage on. I was trying to mess with the truck, and the bandage wouldn't stay on. And I'm trying to keep it clean because I'm not gonna take the antibiotics, and I refused the tetanus shot. So I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. Right. And uh, and so I just went home and played video games for the rest of the day. <clears throat> March 22nd, they received the. Uh, very expensive deposit on the second order, March 22nd. So that was there. So 30 days is April 22nd. 60 days is May 22nd. 90 days that they quoted me is June 22nd. June 22nd. Yeah. So what you're saying is, is Florida's not going to get hit when I'm down there. Yeah, because you know if it's supposed to be in June, it's probably going to come in July. Right. And we're down to one box of uh, Judge. One. Right. One. Ah, ah, ah. So this is when we start selling all the 10 stars because right. the judges are out. Start trying to push the 10 stars? Right. So instead of first poll on the meth, we're selling second poll. I don't think people want it because uh, it's so long. It's awkward looking. It's awkward smoking. Everybody but... No one really likes it except for white. Now, there's people that like it. They smoke it and they like it. They like the pepper that's in it, you know, that, that you get out of it. But they, uh, it is. It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's long it's, and awkward. It's, it's an hour and a half long. Um, it's, you know, like a Texas Lancero. So it's a 43 ring gauge. And it's, it's not big enough. It's not big enough to be a Churchill to look cool. You look like you're stealing Dalmatians. You know, it's just a real long, <laughs> like Corella DeVille smoking. <clears throat> right. So, stealing Dalmatians, right? But you know they're they're hot item in uh, Hawaii. They're doing really well out there. So, you know, thank you, uh, thank you, all my island, islanders for buying the ten star because no one in St. Louis really does. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. That if we're all out when we run all out, and I want one. I'll I'll buy one and cut it in half. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's normally what I do. We're actually doing really good on bullet inventory and really good on... So the the bullet and 10 star sell the, the worst at stores. And I don't understand why the bullet sells the worst because the bullets... That's the one, if you want my opinion. But I'm, I'm going to guess that the 45 sells better because it's just a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's 45 ring gauge, 742. But I do like the bullet. Uh, I like... The only thing I don't like about a bullet is every once in a while it's it's rolled tight. So oh, yeah. every, every I threw I threw a ninety percent of one away yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're just rolled too tight, and if you don't if you don't have a draw poker, it gets a little. Uh, I poked it and it still wouldn't smoke. Really? Yeah. Should have used your strong arm. Right. Right. If you guys want to see pictures, I'll put them up on the uh, Instagram page. Mm. You should anyway, because you got are you, you got that using that as an asterisk. Because I forgot, man. I'm tired. I don't sleep very much. I haven't had my C4 yet. Have you had that energy drink? I don't drink energy drinks. Do you see care. what Mountain Dew does to me? I Dude, can't drink energy drinks. That that C4. Man, I want to try to get sponsored. I drank that chai tea, that half of a chai tea, and it made me real jittery. Half it? Oh, yeah? I don't, I don't, caffeine doesn't, uh, me and caffeine. Well, your tea's got caffeine Yeah, in but it. it's not that much. Dude, that C4... It's got a bunch of, it's got like, well, it's not a bunch. It's like 30 milligrams of niacin. Bro. Oh, niacin. Yeah. Oh. Dude. I remember when the football players and wrestlers used to take that at high school to pass drug tests. You know, that's what. It that's, didn't work. That's what somebody else told me. It didn't work. Really? They'd walk around all red. Right. And sweaty for the day. Yeah. Because they'd like take a bunch of it. Yeah. All red and sweaty for the day. Drinking bunches of water. And it didn't work. Of course, they never failed because, you know, I small, went to a small, football school. Right, small town sports school. Right. So they never failed anyway. I don't even know why they met, bothered. So I'm going to start unrolling this last call while we're going. This is a, um, they have dumb names. Not, I'm not going to say dumb names. They have unique names. And <laughs> I believe this one is called the Flaquata. Or that was a customer of mine in East St. Louis. I don't know which Flaquita. one. Flaquita. Flaquita Flaquata. And, um. So, I think Sarah's got her as a tenant. 
Yeah, she might. <laughs> That's what I, right. We probably had. I, I bet she's you, late on her rent. I. I oh, bet you forty dollars a month. I bet you. Uh, her and I have. How the hell do you get late on your rent at forty dollars a month, bro? You got a job. I want to tell you. I, I right now I'm I'm late on my rent forty dollars a month. All right, I was trying to unroll this torpedo, but these rollers are better than I am at unrolling. So I don't little... understand that. You know how many times I have to hear about how somebody's late on their rent, and 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 it's like it's forty dollars a forty dollars. Some of them aren't even forty dollars, and they're late on their rent. This one lady's like nine months late on her rent, hasn't paid in nine months, and it's and her rent's only like a thousand dollars still that she owes <laughs> back. It's like what the? She's just waiting for the income tax. <laughs> when I was in rent to own, man. You... No, nah, they don't. They don't even pay. They don't pay at all. Oh really? And nothing happens to them. So why would you? Oh. When I was in rent to own, December, January, and February were the hardest months to collect in, because everybody spent all their money on Christmas, right? They got all them payday loans, all that stuff. So then I got to go and convince them <clears throat> or return their merchandise. I'm saying it really nicely. You got you to gotta, you gotta find out when that H&R block check's dropping. So, and then, <laughs> then they come in. They come in just balls hanging, right, when they get that money. You know, like, right. like bro, you're, you're 58, 68, me, 78, 88 days late. Let me, get, let me get this too now. Right. Yeah, let me cop that big screen. Right. I miss it. I kind of miss it. I miss the. Uh, I miss the hustle. I, I don't. Man, just imagine a thousand people, a thousand people a month trying not to pay you. <laughs> that's what. That's what my days were every month. I don't. Every month, so I, don't, I miss the pawn shop once in a while, but I only miss the deals. Mostly for the money. I miss. <laughs> you know what I miss the most about the pawn shop is the tools. Because right. now I need tools. Right, and I'm running thin. And I'm buying tools. I'm really struggling over here. Let me chop this bad boy up to where I can actually unroll it. <clears throat> All right. So I cut the pyramid off because. The pyramid? What the I torpedo? Said? Yeah, torpedo. There we go. Now we can unroll. So this is a Habano wrapper on this AJ Fernandez. Uh, they also come in Maduro. And this is. What is that? Why? Is that glue? Yeah, that's cigar glue. And what is cigar glue? Cigar glue is a like a, a vegetable grade gelatin. That's the first I've seen. Really? On a cigar. I that think we had rolled. I think we've had one like this. Now this does a fold over, so it's not going to come all the way off because they capped it down there. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's not going to come off pretty because. Yeah, because of the cap on the end of yeah, the. Yeah, because they just did a fold over on it. This cigar, to me, when I smoke it, has such a unique flavor profile. I like the little ones. They're kind of strong. The little ones. Yeah, are. they're they're a little strong. I think I think you can get into. And this is sub eight dollars. I haven't ordered them in a real long time, so they probably went up a little bit. Well, the little ones sell. This the other sizes don't sell as much as the little ones. But do. I keep I keep these for myself. I like the smaller ring gauge on it. I like tasting the wrapper. It's a really good wrapper. I tried that with Gloria Cubana and I like those. It's just uh, that they got a weird flavor at the end of them. You were saying that like it finishes weird for you. No, it's the whole as soon as I light it, I start tasting like a weird flavor at the bottom of it. It's so, not an off-putting flavor. It's just good single single leaf binder. Are you into the into you already into the into the filler? It's not a double binder. No, nah, they just put that filler into the other filler. Just a that's just a sake or at least a leaf. Oh, what the binder is? No, the that there. There's another leaf that's in there. So whatever their combination of Seiko, Liso, uh, and, and Liso Leaf, it's not Liso. I'm so tired. <clears throat> but whatever their binder or whatever their combination is, it just hits my palate differently. I, like, I, I enjoy them. It's pulling apart much like the... You can hear that in there. Do yeah, we? you can hear it yeah. pretty good. You can do that yep. ASMR in here. I like these mics. <clears throat> you can hear it real well. It's good long filler uh, cigar. It is. It's 
for sub $10, I, I think they're some of the best value out there. I mean, they're not real big, so, I mean, I guess there's that. But they're just, yeah, they bunched this one here. Mm -hmm. Trying to get them out in the single pieces they are, not break them up. Right. This one I kind of already broke. That was one leaf. This is riveting. Riveting. I wish, like, good time. I wish Jeff would, like, put on uh, that goat mask and walk in behind us while we're doing this. I saw that the Mercedes is still back there, so did he not get the dart? Uh, he's waiting on his title. Oh. I went with him yesterday because he didn't know where Kevin lived. Gotcha. Yeah, look at that. That's one leaf that they got in there. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, for the for the price, and the taste is so fantastic to me. It's a A.J. Fernandez last call Flaquita. Flaquita, Flaquata. Flaquata, Flaquita. And there's somebody's fingernail. No, I'm kidding. No, right. All right. No staple holes. No, no staple holes. Couple center uh, center veins, but no like big old stems like before. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. Like look how look all that's in there. That's the right. same cigar. You know, right. like all that's in that little. You know, just <laughs> it's kind of kind of wild how big it is before. Uh, or how much is crammed in there? Well, that was a longer cigar than the Macanudo I smoked. So, this one is. Yeah, because I'm done. Oh, nice. So. No, I I'll finish this down to my fingertips. I really enjoy. Uh, I would have. I would have, but it was coming apart. Uh, yeah, no, I I enjoy these to death. Uh, I was probably biting down on it too hard. So like, we're gonna we're gonna get open in Alton. Uh, there's a couple things that, by the seventh. By the seventh. So the seventh in downtown Alton, Illinois, is a huge party. Uh, yes. the, the fabulous Thunderbirds. Yes. So, the, so they're going to have Derby Days. Where at Max? Max <coughs> is the main place for Derby Days. Yeah, because he's then, got he's got OTB, so you can place your bets on your on your Derby. And then right on on the center of Third Street, we're going to have Crackhead Racing. Mm, mm -hmm. Right now, <laughs> is there handicaps in this? Because I got I, my racers only got one leg. Listen, listen. So I don't know what the what's the spread. What's I've the been, odds? I've been going to discuss because you know how we had Ladies Night. Yeah. I've been going to discuss Guys Night. Yeah. And having uh, uh, belt sander races up here. Belt sander races. Oh, have you not seen that? No, but can it's, we do that? Can we pull the carpet up so we can actually sand neat. the floor at the same time? No, all you need is <laughs> all, all they're using. They're using uh, well, you got the plywood actually. All they're doing is they're building like a it's like like a two by twos, right. you know, just a track, right? Two two tracks, and then you just I don't know if I guess they're both plugged into the same extension cord and then you plug the extension cord you know you right, you right, just right, plug right, in. right so they both take off at the same time yes there's like a hay bale or something at the end so yes. they crash all hard let's right. uh let's race right. them this way not towards the glass though right why that, well, there's a hay bale at the end well, we're fine <laughs> we're fine we don't care the hay bale all the way back here it'll be all right all right no that'd be cool we well, gotta, I thought maybe we'd have a guys night and we'd do something like that in in here or something like that right. I was thinking. Well, I'm going to try to go to a guy's night over at the racket club because there's no girls allowed there. Oh. Yeah. No, actually, I it's can't. guy's get, night every night. I can't get in there. I don't the make, racket club. I don't make enough money. They, uh, that's where they make all the important decisions for St. Louis. And uh, I think that's where they make rackets. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Mr. Wilson maybe, himself maybe, is in there. Maybe it is a racket. Oh, it's a pyramid racket. It's a racket. Racketeering club. Yeah. Well, it, Judging by the members, it very well could be Jay's a racketeering. just left the tearing off. Yeah. There's there's probably a lot of racketeering going on. Right. But right. that's how uh, that's how Augie gets his garden. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, that's where we release the poor people and shoot at them. Might, uh, might run into old Brandon in there. No, I don't know if Brandon can get in there, buddy. Just, just make sure the Easter Bunny's not there. What, what happened? I missed it. Oh, it's terrified. What? Terrified of the Easter Bunny. Old, Bra old Brandon is. Is he? Yeah. See, so not seen that video? I haven't. Oh, man. Dude, what have I watched? You know what I watch? You, uh, YouTube how-to videos right. on, on how electricity works. You know what I've been watching? YouTube how-to videos on LS swaps and Elden Ring. <laughs> That's what I've been watching. So It's terrible, man. But I am... Uh, I am Big enough on Elden Ring now, my little guy. Yeah. And I can, I'm, I'm not having hardly any issues now. Oh, so yeah? I just walk through everybody. Yeah. Now, have you beaten it yet? No, because I'm not really trying to go to the last boss right now. Right, right. 
Because I know the last boss is going to piss me off. Sure. So. So. I'm not really trying. I've been dragon hunting on it the last couple days. Sunday, May 1st, weather's looking kind of decent. So. Well, it's May 1st. It's a this Sunday. Sunday. This Sunday. It's this Sunday. Yeah, it's this Sunday. Right. The weather's looking somewhat decent. Like 72, no rain. Right. I may try to one wheel to Grafton from Alton, like from the Pie Suburb. Right. Uh, let's pick another a week or two after that. It'll probably be nice, too. Yeah, it probably will be. And then I'll, I'll be able to. Uh, oh, um, yeah, yeah. I, of course, if it's nice tomorrow, I'm going to try. I'm going to one wheel anyway. Yeah, so. you know, I need to I need to figure out what risk cards you got. I need Listen, to get some risk uh, cards. Uh, triple eights. Triple eight. Yep. Okay. So I need to get. I I just want to get some risk cards for sure, just because I'm and doing stupider sh- stuff. The, oh, they released uh, an update for the GT. I watched the video on it too. Dude, everybody's and, loving it. Uh, supposedly, it fixes everything. Yeah, they're supposedly on. Like, I kind of. Yeah, supposedly they they have corrected just about every issue somebody everybody's had yeah. with it. Yep, so. I saw that too. Of course, they haven't corrected their Foot customer pad. service issue. The out around tire issue. <laughs> well, dude, they're new at making tires, man. I'm new at building buildings. This thing won't be perfect. You so. walk in this building, if you if you come to oh the grand opening for the yoga studio is also May seventh, right? And then we will rather have the cigar shop open at two hundred two State Street. Cigar shop number two will be open with uh, limited supply, <clears throat> or um, we'll at least have the camper down there, or both. I don't know. Right. So. Do you have to have permission to put a sign up? Oh, yeah. The sign's got to be voted on, bud. It's got to be voted on? Yeah. You got to submit. You have to submit what the sign's made of, the material, what it consists of, what it's going to say, the design, the picture of it. What? Yeah, all before, and then submit that, and then it goes to a council meeting, and they vote on it. And then you can buy your sign permit, which is like $5, right? But if you just put a sign up, it's five hundred dollars. So you have five hundred dollar fine. So you have to build the sign and then submit it for them to vote and tell you you can use it or not. Well, no, you don't have to build the sign. You can do so. Carmen actually did most of the work for me. So Carmen did. Oops, he was right there too. Oh, so so you've already got a sign. Yeah, I have the sign drawn. And the material it's made out of, I got to fill out the form. So it's going to be three panels. Oh, nice. So just going to say cigar real big, have nice. a little cigar on the end. Nice. And then have the AP cigar real small on the side. Because none of that really matters. Just the word cigar. Right. right. So that's 25 foot that you're looking at there. Right. And then the panels below, it's in three panels. White reflective vinyl on aluminum. So I don't know if that's going to pass. The white ref- composites. So why? Because if it if it lights up or reflects, then uh, they might vote it down. The the zoning guy was telling me that. Why? Because when the headlights hit it, it could distract the drivers. Oh, so, get out of here, bro! We're we're in a town full of tards. Get out of here. I got to put a s- exit sign but, above a door because they don't know where to exit. But the big green and red and purple and yellow with a big neon sign that's going to be literally 100 feet away that doesn't distract drivers at all there's a difference there they have a Would bunch you like- of money yes that's a liter- <laughs> so when i was getting my inspection he knows i'm friends with those guys right and he goes uh i said hey i'm gonna have you inspect uh, 103rd next week and he goes did you get permits for that building permits and i go yeah and he goes, oh, well, I know your friends with so and so, and I know he did, he never he just does whatever. Right, dude. There's there's ten pallets of cinder blocks uh, around those buildings. They are going to tear off the front. Oh, is there going to be a is there going to be a peaceful protest down there? Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh. Uh, they're going to tear down the building, uh, the front of the one of the buildings that they own, and rebuild it. Is it the one right next door? Because that is terrible. It's like it's all green and shit up on the top it's it's an ugly building like the front no it's know. it's uh it's on bell street it's not on third oh yeah so the boarded up one they're working on the inside of that all of, uh bad Oz guys are working on that right and uh <clears throat> so yeah because emily goes which radcliffe is that and i go but uh and she goes oh, okay so right. 
Well, they need to tear the front off that building right next door to the yoga studio now because that is when you go up in that other side. Oh, I know. You can see there's like a six inch difference between the actual building and the facade, the fake, the fake mm. ass thing that they built. Dude, in in const- horrible in construction, I can see exactly why they did that. Just because it's horrible, dude. It it's cheaper to wood frame above that, put in different windows. Because if you don't ever plan on using it, right, that is the cheapest thing in the world to do. Right. But I'm just, you know, it's not that. What I'm actually uh, working with Coat Plastic right now, and uh, we're trying to get uh, all the Lexan cut, and I'm going to get it uh, in a mirrored finish. Or the like top? plexiglass, yeah. The second two floors, there's 24 windows. Now wait a minute, it's going to reflect. No. So that's going to distract drivers. It's like copper, like it's a like a bronze tint. Oh. So, uh, you can still see out. Anyway, I'm gonna, and then I gotta rent a lift, and then go up there and take all those windows out. I'm gonna paint the window sills. So windows taken out isn't a problem. I got a hammer, so I'm just gonna take knock them all in, and then. Well, take if, all you, the wood out. if you take masking tape and you tape across them before you do that, yeah, then they'll actually you'll be able to break them, but they'll still kind of stay, so you can actually push them inward. Oh, okay. Instead of them raining down on the homeless people that sleep. No, they, I, I, we, they, they got a, uh, evicted. I oh. told, I told her I didn't oh. have my Airbnb license yet. Oh. And uh, but it, she's still my pick for crackhead races. <coughs> <coughs> we could have one wheel drags. We could, but I'm not going that fast on mine. So that's just like two weeks away. You'll be fine. So, well, I figured I'd I figured I'd one wheel on nice days anyway, because you know I'm going to land on this side. Right. So road rash on this side. Yeah. You, I mean, you're still bandaged on it. this side. I mean, if you got I mean, a bandage on, you might I mean, not even road rash. Uh, getting good. road rash. We're good. I mean, what are you going to do? Change your bandage? No big deal. We're good. I just don't understand why. Why I have to? Why they wanted me? She's like rubbing this antibiotic cream all over my arm, thick, and I've been putting it on that thick too, because it's easier. <laughs> and uh, and she, but she's like, here, take these antibiotics, so don't get. Infected. What did you just put all over my arm? Does that do nothing? No, it's their job to issue medicine, bro. It's it's silvacidine, and silvacidine is actually the reason it turns brownish gray is because it's the silver in it oxidizing. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't know it's that. Isn't that nice? Well, that's good. Got, yeah, I got more silver on my arm than than you've got in your change pocket over there. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I only have one silver quarter. Right. One silver dime. No, yeah, there's um That's all doctors are anymore. Dude, they just, just they just she, issue medicine, man. Well, she says, "I go, I'm not going to take it." And I go, "It's going to screw my stomach up." And I go, "No. I'm not going to take it." And she goes, <clears throat> she goes, "Well, I wouldn't prescribe it cuz I know it's, you know, messes your gut up and everything else." And I go, I go, yeah. I go, I don't, un- I don't understand antibiotics anyway because, I mean, I get it if you're in that position where you have the infection and you right. have to have right. them. I right. get that. Right. But otherwise, you're, the biggest part of your immune system, and I've learned all this over the last two years, is your gut biome. Right. That's a huge part of your immune system. So you're going to put something in your body that kills all that because it's replacing all that. Right. It doesn't make any sense to me. Huh. So I'm not taking it. Could be why people get sick mm-hmm. after they get medicine. You know? Right. And I'm not taking, I, I denied the tetanus shot, too. It's like, there's no rust in there. Well, I mean, there's nothing. Dude, that radiator was rusty. Well, yeah, but anything that could have been alive inside that radiator. Uh, it's dead, I mean, it's dead it's at dead. 220 degrees. Right, it's dead. <laughs> Just like your skin. Right. My skin didn't survive. <laughs> nothing else did. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it's, uh, it's pretty... That's pretty crazy that it popped off like that. I hate those clamps, though. Well, so, and I did it to myself. I was going to replace it, but the truck wasn't running. Well, no, So right. it got back burgered, and then I got, once the truck was running, I, well, I need it to charge because if it's not charging, it's not going to run right. Right. Even off the jump pack. Once well, it sure. starts running a little low, right. it's it, going to stop firing properly, yeah, and it's not going to run right. Absolutely. So the alternator was the next thing to be fixed for it to run right, So that's and that's what I was working on was getting the alternator charging. And I had my hand on the throttle right above the hose oh, when shit. it came off. Otherwise, I probably would have yeah, skated away without an issue. Right, right, but just a mess. 
It probably would have popped off. I probably would have got burnt a little bit. Right. Yeah, you took it all. <clears throat> no, I yeah, I took it all right here. That sucks so bad. All of it. So. Should have been going live on the uh, unrolled, <sighs> unrolled, uh, pod or unrolled cigar podcast on Instagram. Right. All right. Uh, I was having such a good day that day too. It was nice outside. I one wheeled up here. It was nice outside. I was in a good mood. I truck, t- truck started right up. And was running good. That's amazing. I was in a good. I was having a good day. I tell you what, the uh, I I was doing. I think I was doing Cove base when I one wheeled home, and I was barely walking because you're so cramped down on the floor, right. you know. So I, it takes forever for my hips and everything to unlock and. So I'm limping around, and I grabbed the one wheel, and my mom was there. She was doing stuff, and I go, I was like, all right, I'm going to go leave my truck here. And she goes, you can barely walk. You're going to one I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not walking. I'm one wheeling. Right. <clears throat> and I put on some, like, Sean Price, freaking East Coast, old hip-hop man, and just floated, dude. And there was, like, so little traffic. Like, State Street's a busy road. Right. There was so little traffic. Like, I had the whole road to myself. I was just, I mean, I was doing fatty curves all the way up. And just loving it, man. I, w- I really was. And then, like, I had a route that I was comfortable with. And there was no sketchiness. Anyway, well, this one sidewalk was sketchy. Because I was mostly in the road. And then when a car would come, I'd just shoot up on the sidewalk and ride the sidewalk. And there's a basketball court over there. And it's all brick sidewalk. Right. And it hasn't been leveled in a long time. <laughs> Dude, it was... I was like, wrist guards. I need wrist guards quick. <laughs> if you want to get used to it, you just go back and forth on these roads. For you get used to it. You get a, you get to the point where you're like, okay, I don't have to react yeah, to that. You know, and and or you know, the first time I was reacting to every time it did that. I don't remember how many miles were on that board when we got it, but I'm at 208 now. Uh, 100. It was 50? low. It was real low. Yeah, something like that. 150. 140, 140 yeah. something. I think. So I've got you know, and it's nothing compared to these guys that you know have better weather. Right, but, but I was like, man, and I still had fifty percent, and I wasn't at a hundred percent because I had rode four miles before that, and then I went straight up that hill, and uh, on state, and so like I I got back to the house, I had fifty percent, and I was like, and I I did have stopped one, I stopped once, it was like a couple cars at an intersection, and uh, so I stopped there and just kind of got off, gave my foot a, a little rest, and then got back on, and that was the only time I stopped. I I honestly think I could make it back forth to work. I just ride right through foot fatigue. It was ride right through it. Well, it was my feet have been killing me because of the bakers right. and the ladders and everything else. Right. So like it was like it was it was time to get off for a second. I don't I don't get it at all on that skateboard. Well, when I hit that bumpy ass sidewalk, man, my foot, <laughs> all, both feet changed positions. Man, it wasn't even a thing. <laughs> like right. So yeah, I I've been eyeballing some curbs. I'm going to try to start curbing up. That, yeah, that's that. what I need to get down when the weather, when we have a really nice day and, and my arms healed, because I know I'm probably going to eat it at least once or twice then. I need yeah. to get down and uh, down to Alton where there's some nice actual curbs all over the place. Back. And, uh, well, and some of them are kind of looking too big, but, you know, because we got river curbs because the drainage right. is somewhat new, so they put those curbs up there to keep the water out of the buildings. Right. But, yeah, there was... You know, there's so many, like, little... I mean, Halton does really good with, uh, you know, they, they went through that thing where they put ADA ramps everywhere. So, I mean, there's almost always a ramp. But, like, right. I, I hopped off a curb. But there, um, there's... Because the, I, now I notice where there's ramps and right. where there's not. And so I, I hit this... I come to the end of the sidewalk, and there was no ramp. And I was like, ah. Oh. So, I, I mean, I just hopped down. It wasn't a big deal. And then I turned back to look, and the ramp, the sidewalk went around the corner. And then there was... I was like, oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I didn't even see it. I was just there isn't in Bethalto though. What's that? So, and I go through Bethalto a lot now. Uh, ramps everywhere. There I mean, is. There's, there there's quite a bit, but there's still places. But there's still places does, where Bethalto's kind of lacks in sidewalks though, doesn't it? No, Bethalto's got a it's got a sidewalk that runs all the way through, but it, you'd rather be on the road. Yeah, dude, the sidewalks kind of, <laughs> especially the new ones, man, because it's just right. and I mean, it's like holy crap. No, Bethalto's sidewalks are old, so you get that, and they go this way or uh, that way or yeah. this way or that way. And dude, it's fun. It's, it's fun. I'd rather be on the road. Yeah, it's fun carving on those those like when each block is going no, a different direction. I don't have fun on them sidewalks. I at just all. I I just try to pin like right where the two meet. So, and I just try to pin that and then ride up and down. So it's, I, I pretend like I'm riding waves or some shit. So uh, going like up like to the Arboretum, going up to the Arboretum, 
you get all the way to the junior high, and then once you cross from in front of the junior high onto, uh, I don't know the name of that road, but it's the road that runs all the way to the police station in front of the junior high. Once you get past the junior high, I get on the road. I'm not even going to try that sidewalk because right. that sidewalk is so terrible. That Friday, I, I parked the truck down there. It was maybe a Saturday. And I ride against traffic because I want to see the car coming yeah, at me. Yeah, you know, so. and normally I'm I, when you ride a bicycle, you ride with traffic, right? I've never rode with traffic. Really? No. So I, I went, in cycling, I ride with traffic, and uh, and then when I was doing this, uh, when I was one wheeling, I like going against it so that way I can see and judge where the cars are versus where my escape route is. You know. Right. And right. so when they come up, that's what like when we go down the river road, like from downtown to the bird. Like, we've done that, what, twice? Yeah. Both times, I'm scared as shit. Nervous. Car, cars are behind really me, nervous. man. And it's like, and it's a drag the, race from there. The so. only time I've ever been scared is when is when that jerk-off on that motorcycle decided that he needed to be the Harley guy right behind me. Oh, yeah? No purpose in that whatsoever. And I, it, made, it made me jump. I wasn't expecting right, it. Right, right. I was riding, uh, I was coming down Broadway. I was going to get coffee that Saturday morning. And it seemed like nobody was out. Right, so I'm in the middle of Broadway, and I mean I'm two lane and carving, and then I see a couple of bikes coming. They're going down the river road. Right. So I get in my lane and I'm carving, you know, going, you know, in my own lane, and then this bike, he's down the ways, you know, but it's all flat, so he sees me. So he's on a sport bike, so he starts, he's carving. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just kind of cool, you know. Just, right. Uh, and then uh, I went to the hardware store on it, and then I was coming back, and then this guy stopped and he goes, "Is that a one wheel?" And I go, "Yeah." He goes, is that the XR? And I'm like, well, all right, yeah. And he goes, Cause, man, I've been thinking about getting that. And I was like, you want to try it? He goes, can I? So he just pulls over, and I give him a little. And he hops on. He starts riding it, and he kind of turns a little. He's doing right. okay. He's older than I am. Right. And uh, then his wife pulls up. She's like, stop giving my husband bad ideas. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like so I, mean, I got her out of the car, and I got her on it. I got her on it. And then I got the kid on it, so I had all three yeah, of them. Everybody's got yeah. bad ideas. Yeah, so I don't. I, hopefully you went home and ordered one. I had Jose on it Sunday. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, shit, his truck. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, well, when I walk over there, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to be like, right. I can't work on it. <laughs> right. Just, just give me a little gonna bit. going to have later. to wait. <laughs> then I'm going to go out Saturday night and have some beers with some buddies. Sunday's my birthday. Right. So I'm gonna be like when my blisters all pop or whatever they're gonna do, and then I'll work on this truck. Yeah, I'm not... my bad. <clears throat> I've just been so focused on a building it's hard to get anything else. Well, I was gonna do it yesterday, but then this right. happened. Right. So I was gonna do a lot yesterday. I was gonna do a lot Sunday and yesterday. But I didn't. You wanna swing a paintbrush? No. Are you sure? It's just trim work. Lots no. and lots of trim work. Two coats. I don't think it'll stay. I mean, you're right-handed. Don't though. think it'll stay. the The bandage doesn't stay on with any kind of movement. Right hand. So, right, right. Just use your right hand. Right. It'll be fine. Just use your good hand. Right. Yeah. No. It's um, it sucks. That it's so close, and it's yet yeah, still so far. But it's literally. Well, what's what's gonna happen Sunday? You might not have some code base up. Uh, <sighs> not really that big of a deal. Well, I got I, today. I'm gonna tackle. The big wall. I think I have to go buy more cove, which is gonna suck. Cause I'd like one day where I don't spend money on this building. Um, There's cove up here. Is it black? I think so. If it's what? It's right back there. Oh yeah, cause I, I where did I put it? I don't know. I don't know why I have it. Um, but yeah, so I, um, I have that big room to do on the outside, and that's probably gonna be seventy-five feet. And then I got a bunch of small straight sections, which those are so easy, dude. Right. I, I, it's those angles, man. And then I was so tired one night and I was cutting. I was like, I had to YouTube it. I'd already cut like 10 angles, but I forgot what I was doing. And it was a multi, it was a, it was an inside, an outside, and an inside. Right. <laughs> and I was like, shit. <laughs> like, I just couldn't. And uh, it was like, picture it. and it was my scrap, right? So right. I didn't want to waste the scrap because it was long enough to do what I wanted to do. It was going to go behind the washer. So it was perfect. I already had the washer pulled out, the whole work. And I sat down and I just watched some YouTube and I was like, okay, I, I, I had it. I just, dude, it just, it just did escaped you, me. Did you get the countertops replaced? Yeah. Yeah. Countertops replaced, GFIs replaced and working. Um, the only thing to pass inspection down there is one fire extinguisher and we got to wire in another emergency exit sign. Because we built a hallway. This is city shit. 
we built a hallway. So therefore, we need a sign that shows exit with arrows. Yeah, dumb. With one of the battery backups. Dumb. So that way when the power goes out, the lights come on in this hallway. And granted, it's 50 plus feet. You might get lost. You might get lost. There's no windows there. It's a hall. I get it. But inspection Run towards the light. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, what the fire's at night? I don't know what to tell you. Then they're running towards the fire, and they're all going to burn up. Right. I, I just don't know, like, right. when people are making these laws, yeah. like, okay, Listen. what we want to do is we want to take, we want to take, like, the dumbest animal that there is, right? Right. And then we're going to set fire to this, and whatever he needs to get out, that's what we're going to make humans need. Right. Right. Like it's 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 mind blowing what it has to be done. I have to remove a threshold so wheelchairs can get in. Okay. This is this was my compromise, right, to make the Alton building pass. So the threshold to get in through the thirty sixth door, I have to remove that. So the wheelchair I'm sorry, if you if you're in a wheelchair, please feel free to comment. If you're in a wheelchair, don't you know how to get over a threshold? Like, they're in every door. Right. They're in every single door that you come in contact with. You have to climb over. Right. It's a thing. Like, every door. So I got to remove mine until I get that piece of paper and I put it right back. Right. That's how doors seal. <sighs> this is the threshold. Thank you. So anyway, luckily. I mean, when you don't have them, you can see clearly outside. Yeah. I mean, and, and I'm looking at I'm looking at one that doesn't have one right now. Well, it's because concrete raises when it's cold. Right. So we got to trim that door. Uh, you know, all I gotta do is get this piece of paper and I can take everything out. You know, it, what's it matter? All I need is that piece of paper. Dumb. It is. You know, and this, you know what it is? This is what happens when you follow the rules. If right. I was, if I was just open up, right. they're like, oh, hey, you need a permit. That's, I'm like, all right, here's some money. That's why the outlet in my basement bathroom above my sink. Right. It's not a GCFI. Right. Because don't plug something in if you've got a sink full of water. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> our, water and electricity are bad. Our our limping buddy put ours directly in the middle of the sink. Well, yeah. At, at mere height. At what? Mere height. Yeah, well, that's a good place for it. So instead of even buying covers for those, I just hung the mirror over them. <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> Why does anybody need to plug anything in in a commercial bathroom? They don't. Right. Yeah, you don't. No. You're, not, you're not curling your hair in there. Not, yeah, you're not blow drying your hair in there. Like, you're not dyeing your hair. I mean, right. this ain't a bar on Clifton Terrace. Right. You know? I think the only thing that's ever been plugged into that outlet in my bathroom is the hair shavers. Yeah, clippers or something. Yep, that's the only thing. Right. Dude, I, I'd, I'd like to clip mine. Like, when I use those clippers, I'd rather go outside. That mess is too much, man. Right. I, it's the only thing. Right. So... Uh, yeah, so May 7th, mark your calendars, come to downtown Alton, um, maybe see a cigar shop open, most likely you'll see a cigar shop open, it won't have a sign, but whatever, mm. and then, um, the, uh, downtown derby, so we'll, uh, drink mint juleps, grand <laughs> opening to the, um, we're gonna have that charcuterie, uh, Tiffany. Charcuterie. Yeah, we're gonna have Tiffany's charcuterie up here. Charcuterie or down and there. Flakita. Yeah. So uh, it should be good. It'll be a good time. We're going to have charcuterie and flakita. They're going to both be down there. And then this weekend, uh, I'm going to try to one wheel on Sunday uh, to celebrate me not working and spending money on the building. That's my birthday present to myself. To Grafton? Maybe. I want to see how froggy I feel. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know Friday. Yeah. I mean, it's, see where my blisters are. Dude, it's such a long ride. I mean, I want to stop three, four times just for my feet. Right. Well, you're going to be carrying a backpack with a charger on it if you're going to Grafton. Right. 10 pound backpack. Right. So, plus my charger. All right. All right, yeah. Like, uh, like, subscribe, share. Ne next week, Leo Stone's going to be on. I'm going to try to get him something different to smoke. Uh, oh, we'll like, give him his Cuban. If you want to see... We'll give Leo oh, his yeah, Cuban. Yeah, yeah. If you want to see what's underneath my bandage, yes. I'll post it on the Unrolled yes. Cigar yes. podcast Instagram. Uh, it's absolutely disgusting. Yes, it is. Facebook is uh, Unrolled. Un I don't know. Unrolled podcast, I think. No, it's, oh, just no, it's just unrolled. unrolled. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's unrolled, unrolled on Facebook. We we so, scored that one. I keep I keep track really well. Yeah, you're doing great. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Right. 
Tell your friends to watch this horrible podcast. You got a cigar? That, Everybody loves a train wreck. If you got a cigar that you want to, if it's a major cigar, don't give me some off brand that your cousin makes freaking in Ebor City. But if you got oh, a cigar, no, if you definitely got it, do. Well, or, or, then send yeah, well, it to us. Well, yeah. Yeah, send us a cigar and uh, we'll unroll it or give us a suggestion. We'll unroll something. I don't care if it's fancy or not. Actually, I got some Grey Cliffs back there, man. They're, they're like $30 a piece cigars. Let's, let's unroll a. Uh, a uh, We've been doing cheap stuff, man. We should do something. Let's unroll expensive. a backwards. All right. <laughs> got to stop the gas station to get that. Right, right. All right. Cool. All right. See you. See you. Oh, fuck. Get back.